Hey, welcome back to KNK Visual Productions. I'm Karthik, your host, and today in this video, we're gonna learn how to convert a 2D image into 3D using the FSpy and Blender. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, this video is going to be uh, really, really good because this camera projection is, is one of my favorite topic in 3D, as it is really fun to see a 2D image becoming live in 3D. So, so yeah, let's do it. So so this is the image that I'm, I'm gonna use for this video if you want this image and if you want fspy both of the link is given in the description so you can just download and so you can just follow along the video so if you don't know what's fspy fspy is actually used for uh you know guessing the uh, focal length of a camera or the or the camera which is used in the image so in this case i'm using this uh, tunnel kind of image and we have this axis given here and we just need to align this axis according to the plane of the image something like that so since my image is in a perfect uh, perspective image i would recommend you to use the same kind of image uh, like a sharp perspective image so that you don't need to uh, so that you don't need to work much in that so once i align those axes according to our image what i get is you can see there's an option called focal length and if i enable that we get the accurate or maybe precise value of the camera which has been used in this image and just save this file and once you save this file let's jump into the blender so inside blender uh when you download this fspy you will get a add-on for importing the fspy file into blender so i will give the link for that also in the description you can just download it and once you are in blender you just need to go into file go to import and you will see an option called fspy just click on that and import your fspy file so once you click you can see an image with a camera has been imported and this is the image uh this is the exact image that we have used for the fspy and the camera has the focal length which we got from using the fspy so once you are in this position uh, you can see there is our camera then you can add a plane and you can just edit this plane according to the image and just go to the edit mode and extrude those edges or adjust the vertex all you need, need to do is just model this plane according to the image so in this case uh, since we got the exact uh, focal length you don't need to do much work here all you need to do is you just need to adjust those vertex and extrude the edges according to the image so this is the final model that i made uh, with the help of this fspy so once you are in this position all you need to do is you have to create a new uh, texture so let's go to the shader editor and once you are here just click new and we get a new principal bsdf and just import our image so in this case that same tunnel image connect that to our base color and maybe into our emission if you need so now you can see the uh, texture is not properly aligned with the image so what you need to do is you have to click on the image in the shader editor and click ctrl t and you get this node wrangle and if you don't have this node wrangle all you need to do is go to the edit go to preference go to add-on and search for node wrangler by default it may not be enabled so just enable it. it's an add-on that comes with blender and once you are in this position go to the modifier add a subdivision modifier and make sure it's simple and let's level up make sure your system don't explode because uh, since i'm using a laptop so i'm kind of nervous to level up the subdivision maybe five looks good and still this is not uh still the texture doesn't look good so now our next step is add a uv project modifier so click on uv project and click on uv a uv map and for the object select the camera and now we can see our image is aligned but not perfectly still there's something odd with the image right so what you have to do in this case is you can see there's an option called aspect x and y so there we have to fill up with the exact size of the image which we have used so for getting the size of our image you can just right click on your image and you will get these uh, properties just go to the details and there we have the dimensions so in this case we have for x we have to type in 2782 and for the y we have to type uh 1455 and that's it now you can see the image is 
perfectly aligned just we need to i think we need to level up the subdivision so you can see there is some problem with the texture so let's level up the subdivision okay so let's uh, level up the subdivision i think 6x maximum no just level up i think 8 should work or maybe 7 yeah 7 looks good oh yeah okay so 7 looks good and that's it i guess that's it now you can just disable the background image from the camera and you can add a new uh, sky texture and uh, the fun part is this works in both ev and cycles so there's one more problem that is if you try to move around with the camera what happens is you will see uh, the the textures are just getting distorted something like this so in that case uh, there's two options one is uh, you can just create a new camera and you can move with that new camera but if you don't want to create a new camera there's one more method uh, that is applying all the modifiers so select our model go to the modifier and just apply our modifiers that's it just apply our subdivision apply our uv map and that's it now you can just freely roam around uh, with the camera and nothing will happen so that's it guys i hope you love this video if yes you know what to do you have to share this video with your blender friends that's it guys once again you're watching k and k visual productions i'm karthik and i'm signing off see you in the next video until then take care